This sample PDF file has three pages. Imagine that you want to display those pages dynamically inside the footer of a crystal report. The first page from the PDF is presented in report footer A, the second page in report footer B, and the third page in report footer C. In design mode, you can see that actually there were dummy pictures placed in five sections, report footer A, B, C, D, and E. And for each one of these dummy pictures, we replace them by the corresponding page from the PDF. First, I have a set global variables formula. We're declaring the source file, and we declare a global variable for the number of pages, and we set it to zero. We then use a function from CutLight called UFL file exists to see if the source file indeed exists. We then declare a local string variable to hold how many pages exist in the PDF file. And for that, we use the UFL file page count function from CutLight. If that string is numeric, then we set the PDF page count to a numeric value. Now let's look at the rest of the logic, and let's take just as an example RFB. In the section expert, we have a dynamic suppress condition that says that if the page count is less than two, I don't want to see that section. So that's how we hide the images in sections that go beyond the number of pages in the PDF file. In each one of these dummy images, if I go to the format graphic picture and graphic location, first I declare the source file and the PDF page count global variables to gain access to these values. I set a number var i to one. So in this case, I'm dealing with page number one. I'm creating a file name corresponding to the first page in the PDF. And then I say, if a page count is greater than i minus one, then I want to use the function from CutLight that takes the PDF file, the source file, takes the first page, because i is one in this case, converts it to a local image file. We then crop the white space around the content, and then we return that local image file. Now for the second image, everything is the same, except that in the expression, we set i to be two. So when I refresh this content, each one of those sections get either suppressed or visible based on the total number of pages. Each page in the PDF becomes a cropped image that is dynamically loaded into the dummy image in each of the corresponding sections.